How's it going? So I'm back here in Windsor, Ontario at Spectre Sound. Thrilled to be home. I think if there's going to be a second wave of this pandemic thing, I think I'd rather be at home, buckle down, and hopefully I can ride it out here. Just use a lot of Instacart and Amazon. Anyway, I've been wanting to do this video for the last three, four weeks. Actually, I've been wanting to do this video since last spring. I got the new Harley Benton Amrock series, and I got a couple of Dulahans as well uh, to unbox. We were talking with Toman last spring and about doing this, and the hard part has been just them getting stock. So they shipped these to me in LA a few weeks ago and then I realized I need to go home. So I shipped these up here to Canada. Now I can finally make this video. So full disclosure, I am affiliated with Toman. So if you click one of the links in the description below for one of these guitars, I will get a small percentage, which would be freaking awesome. So I can eat and continue to make cool shows and all this kind of stuff. Now, I've never done a full-blown Harley Benton video on my show outside of like TGU or GitCon or anything like that. I have had some on the show from time to time, but I've never actually done one on my own because most of the Harley Bentons have not been quote unquote, quite my style. That is until now. They've got the new Amrock series. I've got a six string and a seven string I need to unbox here. And these are cool fucking guitars. They come out of a certain factory in Indonesia, which I think a lot of other popular brand guitars are made in. And these guitars are uh, mounting a set of EMGs, not the typical EMG actives. These are ones I've never seen before. So I'm really curious to see how these are going to sound. But the thing I like the most about these guitars is they are aggressively priced. I'll have all the prices listed as I take them out. But uh, let's see what we got here. I've got no idea what one's what. I mean, like the Dulahans are pretty easy to figure out. And I'll pull one of those up now. Ooh, what do we get here? Oh, I'm liking this already. It looks like it's a 24 fret job. I just love unboxing guitars. I really do. Reverse headstock. <laughs> Okay, lose the box here. I'm really curious about this. This has got a nice heft to it. It's not like super heavy, but I, I got a feeling this is gonna be a really nice balance. This is the seven. Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. <laughs> Staple stuck to the EMG, that's cute. So this is like straight out of the factory. I don't know if this has been set up. Look at that neck joint. Holy crap, that's smooth as glass. Nice, easy reach to a 24th fret you can get access, easy access to the truss rod right here. There looks like it will be a little imperfection on the metal. I don't know if that's a mark or a scuff or what, but it looks like a hip shot style bridge. But that finish is, is really cool. This is like some kind of satin red. The neck feels super fast. Let's just see here real quick here. Okay, might need a tuning and a dusting for sure. This definitely, the guitar definitely needs to be cleaned up. It's dusty as hell. But uh, that's pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, not bad. That's That's got a really nice balance. It's not neck heavy at all. So you can sit just in classical position right here and this is absolutely fine. That's really cool. So I'll get this tuned up and try it out in a few minutes, but uh, we're gonna continue here with the unboxing. So there's no, there's no pull on the guitars at all. So uh, that's kind of a bummer, but yeah, I'll get this cleaned up. We'll get it tuned up and we'll give it a shot in a minute. Okay, Harley Benton number two. As you can see, it came with the uh, patented DHL speed holes. Hopefully it didn't damage the guitar at all. I'd like to thank DHL for taking such good care of this guitar. I really do appreciate it. And uh, let's see what we get. I believe this is a Dulahan. It's definitely short enough to be a headless guitar. Now, if you're an anime nerd like me, you watch Do Ra Ra and you know all about what a Dulahan is. It's basically a headless ghost, so. Oh, and this comes in a carrying case. How nice is that? In case of emergency, rescue my guitars. Hey, that's sweet. Check that out. That is really cool. Nice job, guys. At least I, I, this answers my question, what I'm going to do, where I'm going to put this guitar. That's really tiny. That's what she said. I gotta admit, this is really fucking cool. Anything in the, uh... hey, look at that. We got all the, uh... Get all the tools we need for the guitar right in the bag. Okay, the threading's a little shitty there. They should have taken a little bit care, better care with the Velcro job there. But hey, you know what? I wasn't expecting to get a gig bag with this. I gotta say, that's that's a very nice touch from Harley Benton. Ooh, it is still wrapped. Look at how small this is. Holy shit. You know, I saw Max Solo playing one of these on Lancaster Tone Wars a couple months back, and I was just like, hey, that's a really cool looking guitar. What's that all about? So we shall see. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow, look at that. That's unreal. Look at that finish. How well do the tuners tune? Oh, they're very smooth. 
Look at that. That is so cool. My only question is, do they have a seven string version? Now, that's a bolt on neck, but it seems to be recessed slightly here and it's not too bad. I mean, like it's somewhat comfortable. You can get you can get to the 24th. It's a little bulky. It's not like that. Uh, the Amrock, but uh, I got to say that finish is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, these are mounting the Roswell pickups. No, no, uh, no coil tap on that. But uh, holy shit, that is really freaking cool, guys. This is super light. Wow. That's just all kinds of fun. Look at that, that's kind of neat. I might want to take the action down uh, above the 12th just a little bit. It's a little bit on the high side for my taste, but uh, I like my action just like, you know, blow on it and fret. So I like this though, it's super light and it just doesn't take up any space. This, you know, this is the kind of guitar you could probably sit around and practice on for like, you know, a month at a time and uh, just be really comf comfy playing it. I really like this, guys. Wow, that's, uh, that's super cool. I can't wait to hear how it sounds. Now this next one I believe to be Amarok six string. Let's see what we get this time. Really curious. All right, moment of truth. What do we get? It's like Christmas morning. Ah, I see a blonde finish. Okay, let's see what we do. This one's definitely got a head on it. Ooh, some stickers. Oh, checked by. Cool. All right. Excellent. So this one was looked at. Cool. Comes with a nine volt for the pickups. I think I might want to check my other box for the same thing. Uh, definitely a little bit of styrofoam on this one. Not a big fan of the styrofoam, guys. Oh, it's green. How cool is that? Okay, that green headstock. Yeah, that's 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 really nice. Let's see. Let's see how this looks. Oh, it's got the truss rod tool stuck to <laughs> stuck to the pickups again. The EMGs. I haven't seen these this type of EMG before, so I'm really looking forward to trying it out. But apparently they're active because it comes with a nine volt. If I can get the damn thing unstuck here. Might want to wrap that up a little better, guys. But yeah, look at that. Again, hip shot style bridge. EMG pickups. This uh, truss rod adjuster looks in much better shape. 24 frets, reverse headstock, and I'm guessing, yep, locking tuners. That's really freaking cool. And of course, the price is listed below. Well, look at that. That's a one, two, three, four, five piece neck, neck through body design. Uh, okay, is that an imperfection of the finish there? Nope, that's just the wood itself. Okay, cool. Right on. Yeah, got a. Uh, it's got a nine volt compartment. Let's uh, let's drop the nine volt thing. Look at that. Chameleon battery. Never, ever, ever heard of these before. So obviously made in China or Indonesia. Yeah, where did, where are these guitars made? Like I said, I thought the Amrocks are coming out of a certain factory in Indonesia. Um, I could be I could be completely wrong here, but let's see what it says. Does it have a made in? QC by John. Okay, John from Indonesia. Harley Benton Pro Series. I gotta say, yeah, the, the, this is really cool. Made in Indonesia. Okay, and I don't wanna start a bunch of bullshit with uh, companies um, whose owners I'm friends with. I'm kind of curious if these are coming out of the same factory that the Solars are coming out of, which could be very true. I gotta say, I like the finish. This does seem a little, the neck seems a little bit heavier on this one. Balance wise, yeah, if you're if you're playing this style, it's definitely gonna droop a little bit. I think the seven was a bit better balanced. However, you know, if you're playing classical position, this really shouldn't be a big deal. It's not like gonna be like an SG where you got massive neck dive. Although it does feel a little bit heavy. Let's see here, if I just grab it here. Nope, body does wanna balance lower. So I don't know, the balance on this might be really good. For me, uh, balance on a guitar is very important when I'm playing in the studio because I don't want to be fucking around wondering which way the guitar is going to go when I'm trying to get usable sounds out. Anyway, one more to go. Okay, and last one. This is another one of the Dulahans. I'm really curious to check this out. Gotta say, so far, I'm really impressed with what Harley Benton's been doing with their Pro Series, because for the longest time, Harley Benton was basically the bargain basement brand for guitars, and it's great for beginner guitars. And, you know, they did a lot of like Les Paul and Strat style copies. And uh, it's kind of cool to see them do do their own designs now. The thing I like about Harley Benton is they're super affordable as well. And again, I love, absolutely love the fact we get a gig bag with the Dulahans. And it's so freaking tiny. I mean, that's nothing to take on a bus somewhere. If you've got a road trip to go, go on, yeah, just chuck this in your trunk, away you go. Now I know a lot of you guys don't really dig headless guitars and that's absolutely fine to each their own. I always thought they were kind of cool. One of the guitars I've always wanted to get my hands on is like one of those Steinberger Vs that they showed at the very at the end of the very first Bill and Ted movie. But uh, yeah, never ever seen one. Well, I've seen a couple in real life, but I've never actually got to play one, which is kind of a drag because I would love to check one of those out. And uh, let's see how the finish looks like on this one. It looks like we got a blonde neck on this. Here we go. And okay. Wow. Okay. So this is just simple black. This is cool. 
And again, just a real simple guitar. How are those uh, tuners moving? Yeah, those tuners are super easy to work with. I played with some other guitars where the tuners will just chew your fingers up like this, but these are, are really smooth. So I like that a lot. Again, it's got that slightly recessed neck joint, so you can get up there. It's not the most comfortable neck joint I've ever felt, but easy access to the truss rod and a couple of these Roswell pickups. Very cool indeed. Again, the action feels just slightly tight. If this survived a trip from China to Germany to Los Angeles to Canada, and it's still in tune, I haven't touched anything here, except for my noodling there. I put shit back where I found it. Uh, that's not bad at all. So yeah, um, this is $400 American, and I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. $400 for this? This is, this is a hell of a deal. Like, I love it. It's super light. You know, it's got a great balance. Stays in tune. Like I said, I might want to take the action down just a bit. And that can get, kind of be a little bit tricky with these guys. I'm going to have to play with it and figure out how we, I can adjust the action on this without uh, completely driving myself insane. But yeah, it should be, should be a lot of fun. Anyway, I uh, can't wait to use these on a couple of tracks. So thank you very much to Toman. And uh, you guys out there looking to get some awesome guitars for not a whole lot of money. Yeah, I'd say start taking a look at the Harley Benton Pro Series because... Uh, these are some contenders, you know, really serious bang for the buck guitars. I'm really digging the Amarok series as well. All right, so got the guitar, just kind of cleaned up, took the pickup plastic off and uh, got a tuner on there, got the strings tuned up. I think the first thing I want to do is put a really good set of strings on this, but I got to say so far, wow, I am actually kind of shocked. This guitar is just super fun to play. For the quality guitar you're getting for 589 bucks, I mean like, wow, that is really freaking cool. Uh, even the little mark I saw, the truss rod adjuster was just a little bit of crap on there. So uh, that came right off. So my big uh, point to the fine folks at Harley Benton would be maybe clean the guitars up a little bit more before you ship them. It's still a little dusty, that kind of thing. And uh, gotta say though, not bad at all. I gotta say 589 bucks, wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's all kinds of fun. I can't wait to actually use this on a full mix somewhere. I gotta say, I think I'm gonna really dig this guitar. This is super cool. So there you go. There's a four Harley Bettons for you. I gotta say Harley Button seems to really stepped up their quality. Super impressed with this. I can't wait to try out the green six string and plug in those Dula Hans as well. Looks like this is gonna be a whole bunch of fun. Gotta say, congratulations to Harley Benton for stepping up their game. Uh, this Pro Series, I think, would compete with a lot of other guitars out there in the market right now, um, especially if they're coming from Indonesia. You might wanna take a look at this. Could be some serious bang for the buck. And if you're in the States, don't forget that they've got that 40 kilo shipping limit. I think it's a, for 50 bucks, you can get 40 kilos sent your way. So you could get one of these and maybe a two by 12 and a bunch of pedals and some mics and all that kind of stuff with no additional shipping fee over that $50 price, which is a pretty freaking killer deal. And as I recall, it wasn't a whole bunch of money to get four guitars into the US. So a lot of guys are always like, whoa, what are import fees? What are import fees? Um, a fraction of what you will pay to get stuff into Canada. 